Hello everyone. Today we are going to work together to make a simple science project that helps us track the shadows made by the sun. Okay, so we're going to make a sundial, our very own sundial, which uses the shadow from the sun to help us determine what time it is. So in order to do this, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need something that can be the base of your sundial um, that the shadow will be projected on. So you could use a paper plate, you could use a piece of paper, or if you have an open driveway or patio, you could just use that. And then you're gonna need something that can be the gnomon. The gnomon is the part that actually projects the shadow, that makes the shadow, okay? So what I decided to use is you could use a pencil, you could use a marker, or if you're doing this outside, you could use yourself and get someone to trace you. You could use a water bottle. Um, you need something that's going to be kind of tall and thin that projects a pretty clear shadow for you, okay? So I'm going to show you how to set it up if you use a paper plate. The first thing you're going to want to do, no matter what you're using, whether it's a piece of paper, a paper plate, is you're going to want to find the middle spot of it. So if you can see, I've already kind of marked a little dot where the middle is. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut a hole there, okay? So you might need a pair of scissors just to make a simple little hole. Okay, once I put my hole through it, I'm going to put my pencil in and try not to drop it so that it stands up nice and straight. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this. But I now have a paper plate with a pencil in it that's standing up nice and straight. If you look, you can actually see the shadow coming behind it, which is exactly what we want for this project. Okay, so I'm going to pause for a second while I get it all set up, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and I found a nice open space here on my patio. When you're going to find a space, you want to find somewhere that is directly in the sunlight and that isn't going to be in the shade within the next hour or two. Okay, so ideally you're gonna to want to find an area that will be in the sun for most of the day. Okay, which is exactly what this spot here on my patio does. Okay, if you can see, I set it up. I just put my paper plate with the pencil in it on the ground. I set up two of them for you. That way, if you don't have a paper plate and you just have a piece of, pen, or, uh, a piece of paper, you can see what that would look like as well. I just put them on the ground and I stood up my gnomon or my middle part here in the middle so that it projects a shadow behind it. Okay, if you look closely, you can see the shadow right here on my paper plate and you can see the shadow right here on my piece of paper. The first thing I'm going to do after I set it up is I'm simply going to draw a line where that shadow is. Now, I want to give you a warning. If it's kind of windy out, you may want to put a rock on it just so that your experiment doesn't blow away, okay? Luckily, it's a beautiful day out here. The sun is shining. There's no wind, so I'm not going to. But if it's a little bit windy, just to save your science experiment, you might want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to hold it here so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, my arm is in the way. That makes it kind of hard to see the shadow. All right, so I'm just going to draw a line directly down the middle of my shadow. I'm going to hold it with my foot so my paper is not moving around. Okay, so my line's right down the middle of my shadow on each one. Okay, and then I'm going to label that line with the time. So right now, it's 12.30 p.m. 12.30, and you may want to label it a little towards the outside because as you add more lines, they're going to end up kind of close together and you may run out of room for your numbers. Um, so I did that on this piece of paper over here, if you can see it. Um, but as you go about doing this, you're going to come out at least every hour. You're going to add a new line and then you're gonna mark it with the time that it is, okay? So as I keep going, I should have a line for about 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, and that's gonna help me measure 
where the shadow falls at each time of day. Okay, so if you want to come out more frequently than that, if you want to come out, say, every half an hour, you could also do that. Um, it's really up to you. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and do every hour so that I can see it, and I will update you guys as I keep doing it. All right, guys, it is 1.32, and I'm back out here again to check on my sundial. Okay, so if we look, if you look real close, you can see that the shadows have moved on each of these. Looks like some dirt flew on my one side sundial, so I'll just wipe that off. Okay, but you can see that the shadows have moved on each of them. So I'm going to mark where my new shadow is. Okay, and then I'm going to mark the exact time that I checked it at. So it looks like it is 1.33. So when you check yours, you want to make sure you mark the exact time um, so that you know for sure exactly how much it moved in that hour or that hour and a couple minutes. Okay, we want to make this as accurate as we possibly can. Okay, so I'm going to keep this up. I'm going to come out here every hour to check on my sundial. Um, if you'll see, my phone is full of alarms for every hour so that I don't forget. Okay, you want to make sure that you set your alarm for every hour too. That way you can come on check and check on your sundial. I'm going to show you an example of one that I did the other day, if you can see. I didn't start mine until I got after, off of school the other day. Um, I started it at four. I came outside every hour and checked how the shadows moved throughout the day. That's what you're gonna do with your sundial. I recommend that you keep it up until the sun goes down. That way you just have a larger amount of measurements. You can see how it moves throughout the day and how this could be used to help us figure out the time. Okay, I hope that this helps. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and let me know. But otherwise, happy sciencing.